All right, guys, welcome to Blade Cut Armory. This is the Cutlass. It is an old one-handed fighting sword. Um, don't really know much about its history, uh, but it's pretty good. I'm gonna be testing it out. First test, we're gonna be cutting open a can. So you ready? I'm gonna do it Japanese style the first time. I know it has no extra thing, but I'm gonna see if I can actually make it work. So ready? Here we go, first test. Alright, that one uh, cut the thing in half. It held up pretty good. Alright, next we're going to do a, a side slash. You ready guys? Here we go. This, I'm going to see if I see, I'm gonna see if I can do like a quick draw. Ready? And here we go. Let's see the damage. That's actually a pretty good clean cut right there. Not sure if you can see it. Sorry for the horrible lighting. Uh, we're doing this kind of at night and we have like a little lamp right here. You know, the struggle. Not having natural stuff. See right here, it actually did pretty cut, do a clean cut. Now, since we're done testing out the blade, I know this is probably a short one. This blade is a single edge. As you see here, it's single-edged, cleaned up, has a sharp tip right here, and it's double-edged on the top. But on the back, it has like a pretty thick stance right there. The guard is fantastic, though. I love the guard. It allows you to actually protect your hand. I see this is more for right-handed because, as you see, it protects the hand right here. And I see in one of the videos, I guess this is for meant for thrusting, but there's a specific way that you have to thrust. Um, because when I was checking out Skyrim's videos, Skull Skullgram, I'm not sure if I pronounced the name wrong. Uh, if you're watching this, please forgive me if I pronounced your name wrong. Um, he actually shows you how to thrust. You don't thrust like that because you're going to mess up a muscle right here, as he said. So my method is to thrust like from side and I push my body into it. Which is something I, I do. Um, this ain't no Japanese sword. It's a cutlass. So, sorry if I have it like this. It's pretty old. Um, the leather is already falling apart. Made of old decaying wood. Let me see if I can like work it up. Honestly, this is kind of one of my favorite weapons. The cutlass because it's a single edge. You can use it with one hand. And especially that curve allows you to actually get in there and actually do a chopping. You know? Anyway, um, this video is basically about this one only. We did some cutting tests, not that much though. Um, next week, I hope I'll be able to do John Ock Sword. If I don't, forgive me, because that thing's still in the process of being worked. Once that's complete, um, I'm going to try to see if I can come up with like more of a modern day John Ark because in the Ruby series, you see him with his hoodie. Uh, with the hoodie, uh, I saw that barely came out on Rooster Teeth. You should probably go check out Rooster Teeth store. You can go buy it for like about $54. I don't have that type of cash on me, honest, because I really don't got money to spend. But if I did, I would definitely buy, uh, buy it and make the cosplay for it. But in this case, I can't. So I'm just going to make my own little version once I'm done with the sword. The sword should be the same, almost identical to the show. And the shield is almost identical to the show as well. Um, well, guys, I hope you like and subscribe to this video. Please make sure to share with your friends. And I will see you next week on Blade Cut Armory.